Welcome back everyone to another lecture in the tutorial series of SQL for Data Science. This video is a continuation in the ongoing playlist of SQL for Absolute Beginners. So please consider watching the playlist from start if you are just getting started with SQL as well. So without any further delay, let's have a quick look on today's agenda. So by the end of this lecture, you will have a good understanding on PostgreSQL and PG Admin and also why do we use them. We will also go through the installation process for both of them and then we will see that how to set up a database on PostgreSQL to get started with our SQL learning. So just like MySQL or Oracle SQL, PostgreSQL is also one of the DBMS where we can run our SQL queries in order to store, manipulate and fetch information. We will also see that how to set up a database on PostgreSQL where we can actually practice with our SQL queries in order to do such task. On the other hand, PG Admin is a GUI based interface that helps us to connect with PostgreSQL. At the moment, if you're not feeling that comfortable with PostgreSQL or PG Admin and it still seems very new to you, then it is fine. Because as we move ahead with this tutorial playlist, the idea around these two will be more clear to you. Also, if you are not aware with the terminologies like DBMS or RDMS or database, then we have created a separate video within this playlist only where I have explained all these things that you need to know in order to follow on with this playlist. The link will be given somewhere below in the description box or somewhere on your screen. So let's get started with the installation of PostgreSQL. You need to go on your browser and type PostgreSQL on your Google search or on the address bar. Hit enter. Then you need to look for this PostgreSQL.org site. Once you land on this page, you will have to look for the download button. The download button will redirect you to this page where you will see different options for different kind of operating system. I have Windows, so I'm gonna select this one. Once you land on this page, you need to click on this option, download the installer. It will redirect you to a page where you will see different versions of PostgreSQL compatible with different kind of operating system. I have a Windows system with 64 bit, so I'm gonna select this one. You can select the option that goes well with your device. So download should get started within few seconds. So as soon as we land on this page, the download will be started for you. So you can see the download has been started for me. So I'm going to fast forward in time till the time this download gets completed. Now we are going to download PG admin on our device. So again, you need to go to your browser and type PG admin download, hit enter. Then look for this link pgadmin.org and click on this option. On this page, you need to select the option that is compatible with your machine. I have a Windows system, so I'm going to select this one. Now I'm going to download the latest version of PG Admin. If you have an old computer, then you might want to go with the older version. On the very next page, we need to select this option, this exe file that we want to download on our machine. So as you can see, PG admin has started downloading on my system. Now we will wait till the time both these files are getting downloaded. Okay, so we have PG admin and PostgreSQL, both the files downloaded on our system. Now before we move into the installation process, we will go ahead and download the database file that we are going to set up on the PostgreSQL to uh, progress ahead with the SQL tutorial. You need to go to your browser and then type on the Google search box or in the address bar PostgreSQL sample database and you need to find this link from this PostgreSQLTutorial.com site. Click on it. Once you reach this page, you will get to see the schema of the database called DVD rental, which is given in the PostgreSQLTutorial.com uh, website for the practice purpose of people who have just started with their SQL learning. You can download the file from this site 
but remember it will be downloaded in a zip format which you need to extract into .tar file so that you can link it with your PostgreSQL. Now if this sounds very overwhelming to you, I have already done this conversion and I will give the link in the description box from where you can directly download this tar file. Alright, so now we have everything that we need. Let's go ahead and start the installation of PostgreSQL. Okay, now over here take a note of this path or if possible take a snip of the screen because we might need this information going forward if we get any error. Okay, click on next. Leave all these options by default. Next. Next. This is a very important area. Remember you need to set up a password over here which I suggest has to be very simple and easy to remember. So for example over here I am going to keep the password as password. And there is no restriction by PostgreSQL of having any kind of complex password with uh, alphanumerical and special characters. So I am suggesting you to keep a simple password because in case you tend to forget this password or if you lose it you won't be able to access the database anymore and then there will be no other option rather than uninstalling and reinstalling the PostgreSQL again. So in order to avoid that situation keep the password very simple. Next leave the port option by default as it is and hit next. Next next and the installation will get started for you. I am going to fast forward in time till the time the installation is completed for me. See you there. Ok so the installation of PostgreSQL has been completed for me. I am going to uncheck this option and then click on finish. So PostgreSQL has been installed on the system. So now we will install pgadmin. The installation process for pgadmin is again going to be very straightforward. So just click on next, accept the agreement, click on next, next, next and then install. As compared to PostgreSQL, it doesn't take that much of a time in order to get installed. Still in order to save your time, I am going to fast forward till the time this gets completed. Alright, so the installation has completed, I'll simply click on finish and then just go to the Windows search box and search for pgadmin and open this app. If you are getting the exe file in the search results, please do not click on that because it might restart the installation process. So you need to find this app and then click on open. Now remember when you are opening pgadmin on your system for the first time, it might take longer than usual in order to launch it on your computer. But do not worry about it because it is absolutely normal in the first time. Ok, so pgadmin has been launched on my screen. I need to enter the password which I set up initially. So I'll enter it and click on ok. So this is how pgadmin looks like. As I told you earlier, it is a GUI interface that helps us to connect with PostgreSQL. Over here in this top left corner, you will see this server option. If you expand this, it will again ask you for the password. You simply need to enter the password that uh, you set up while the installation was happening and then click on this option save password so that you don't have to enter the password manually each and every time you are working on this. Okay. Alright. So. I can see the version of PostgreSQL that I installed on my system. Over here you will also see a database which comes by default with this installation. However, it will be absolutely empty. What I mean to say is inside this database you will not see any kind of table or any kind of data. So it makes sense that it is not of our use. So we are going to set up our own database. We simply need to select this PostgreSQL option and do a right click and then create database. We need to name our database. Uh, you can select a name of your choice. I am going to select a name as practice database. So just practice and save. Alright, so as you can see within this database, now we have two databases. First is the one that came by default with the installation and the second one is the one that we created. 
but again this database as well will be empty it will have no tables or data inside it and this is why we have downloaded the tar file if you remember for our practice purpose so simply do a right click on this and then hit restore now before clicking on restore remember that this might give you an error and if it does we will see how to resolve that okay it is not giving me an error but in case this gives you an error of a binary path you simply need to go over here in this file option select preferences then come over here to uh, just below path and select binary path scroll down select the version of postgresql that you have installed as you can see my postgresql is selected to the correct path and if you are getting the error it means that this path has to be selected on your device so if you remember during the installation process i asked you to keep a note of a specific path or take a snip of that you just need to browse to that location by clicking over here and you can browse in your computer from this page since everything is working fine for me and i hope it does for you as well i'll cancel this option and i'll simply have to restore our database from here it has to be custom or tar option over here and then from here i am going to browse the tar file on my device after browsing to the location where i have saved the tar file i will select this option but before doing this if you cannot see this tar file even after uh, browsing to the correct location you need to select this option as all files okay so i'll hit select and then restore so the restore has been started and successfully completed for me now within this practice database if i'll expand the schemas and then expand the tables then we will get to see all the tables that we have within our dvd rental database so let's see how it works and how can we run our sql query simply select the database do a right click and look for the option query tool and then you will see something like this where all the fun actually happens so over here i am going to execute a very simple sql query select star from actor if you remember actor is one of the table that we have within our schema over here if you can see and let's try to execute this sql query i'll select it and i'll hit this option and as you can see it is returning me the entire table you don't need to worry about that how this statement is working or how did i write this statement because this is why i am creating this entire tutorial playlist because we will go step by step throughout the entire process and we will learn sql absolutely from scratch so as we discussed earlier in our agenda we have seen what are postgre sql and pg admin we have gone through the installation process and we also set up the database on our postgresql that's all for this video see you in the next lecture thank you